So now we're going to look at the other way to recognize redox. The other way to recognize redox is to think about electrons being gained and electrons being lost. We said that um, oxidation was loss of electrons. And if we're losing electrons, that means that the electrons are a product in the reaction, or they're on the right-hand side, they're on the product side. And when we're gaining electrons, that's reduction, and the electrons then are a reactant, so they're on the reactant side. And we're going to see this as we go through the method for balancing redox equations with the ion electron method. Now, there's not going to be any test question that says what is oxidation or what is reduction. There's multiple ways to define it. But you do have to remember so that if the question says in the oxidation half of this reaction, how many electrons are there, you'll know which is the oxidation half. It's the half where there's loss of electrons, so it's where the electrons are on the product side. Now, I brought something to help you remember. This is my friend Leo, Leo the lion. Oh, he's upside down, isn't he? Yeah, okay, that's it. Here we go. That's because the projector's hanging upside down. Um, <laughs> this is, that's his feet. Okay, this is Leo. <laughs> and uh, anytime I talk to Leo, he only tells me one thing. Hey, Leo, what's up? Grr. <laughs> Leo says grr. And that helps me remember oxidation and reduction because Leo says grr. Loss of electrons, oxidation, gain of electrons, reduction. Leo can be your friend. So we're going to look at this idea of which half of the reaction are the electrons on when we go through balancing redox equations with the ion electron method. So we'll stop here and take our break, and then we will go through some examples.